Within the Central Highlands at any one time during the active part of the war, there's probably about 40,000 uh, mountain yards that were working w with special forces at the various aid camps. They also worked with the Mike Forces. Uh, the Mike Forces were battalion sized units uh, of, of mountain yards who were actually led by American, American Special Forces and uh, intended to move throughout uh, the two core area. You had regional and, and popular forces, which were which were mostly village defense uh, units, and they only stayed within the local unit. Your civilian irregular defense group units uh, were also mountain yards, and they usually stayed within a local area. A uh, dual love. We loved them, they loved us. And they saved a lot of American lives, you know, the mountain yards. The mountain yards recognized, I think, in the SF a, um, a sense of loyalty to mission and purpose and we in turn recognized that from them we became instant brothers half of the mountain yards of military age i mean half of the entire people the men of military age half of them died fighting for the americans um so that's that's a lot of dead guys awful lot of dead guys. According to the Ministry of Ethnic Minority and their estimates it was around 200 to 250,000. And you have to remember that a lot of people didn't die from bullets and bombs. They died because their world was shattered. We should hang our heads in shame for, you know, on the way we treated the mountain guys and deserting them like we did. And we should make every effort to help them today. Every name's a father, or a husband, or a son, or a daughter, or a brother, or a cousin. If it was not for the mountain yards and their sacrifice in Vietnam, there would be thousands of more Americans' names on the Vietnam Wall. I mean, they died in place of Americans over, over in Vietnam. That wall would be much, much bigger than what it is now today. Sometimes in the dark of the night, I, I think about the fact that, that all of those guys were fighting for what, for what we have, you know. They, they knew us, they knew who, what we were like, they knew how we felt about our country, about our country's history, about independence, freedom, all of those ideals and they wanted that for themselves and they were willing to die to get it. And I kept saying if we leave the population of South Vietnam a shambles and we leave Vietnam they're never going to be able to stand up to the communists which is ex exactly what happened. Exactly what happened.